What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Kiamani, and today we're making the infamous JT birthday dress. Now let's get started. First thing I did was I made a cutout of a crop top, and this is because the very top of her dress was like a one shoulder kind of thing, and I needed to sketch out how I needed to cut it. But I used a dress of mine to make sure the actual top is gonna be wide enough. Once you've gotten this traced um, out, you want to just, well, I basically kind of freehanded the top, but I wanted to make sure that it was going to be wide enough. So that's why I did um, trace the outline of that regular, but I ended up just kind of like freehanding it. You'll see when I cut it out. And then you want to do the same for the skirt. If you look very closely, um, the front of her dress is like two pieces. So that's why I'm doing it like this and the back is not. Here are both pieces, the top and bottom. You see how I cut out the top? I kind of, again, freehanded it. And then after you got both pieces, you just want to cut them out in your fabric. Easiest way to do the back panel is to just, instead of making it into two pieces, you make it into one. Next, you wanna take both pieces from the front and then just sew them together so it is gonna be one cohesive piece. And I'll show you where to sew them, but you just wanna lay them on top of each other like this and I'll gesture where to sew. I would recommend if you are going to actually wear this to make your um, thread the same color as your fabric. And then once you've sewn the two top pieces together, you can just attach the front and the back um, portions and your dress will be complete and the only thing you have to do is attach your flowers and your stones.
The trick to gluing your flowers on is once you take them off the stem, you want to make sure that the back is as flat as possible. So if, it, if there are like stems sticking off in the back, you want to cut those because the flatter the flower is in the back, the better it'll stay to the dress. Um, I got all of these flowers from Hobby Lobby. Um, I spent $60 on flowers, but everything was 50% off. Um, and I did have a lot of extra like left of the mini flowers that you see. I really was using those to like fill in spaces, but I, I do have a lot of those left over. Um, you can really get your flowers from anywhere, but I kind of wanted to mimic her actual dress and get like tropical flowers. And that was the only place that I seen that had them. There's no specific order as to how I'm gluing them on. I'm just kind of like scattering them all around. And uh, one thing I did do was I did put a piece of cardboard in between the front and the back of the dress. So when I glued it down, it wouldn't stick. Um, the two pieces wouldn't stick together. If you do that, I feel like it's the, the dress would be ruined because the, the fabric is already super thin. Um, so you want to make sure you are putting something in between so that it's not sticking to the back. And I did get a yard of this stretchy mesh fabric. It was only, I think, $5.99 from uh, where I get my fabric from. But you can, I'm pretty sure uh, Joann's has this. It's, it's really not hard to find. Um, but I did get a yard. I had um, extras left over, but you always want to make sure you get a little bit more just in case you do mess up. So here is me just showing you me um, trying to place on the rhinestones. But even when you're doing the rhinestones, you want to make sure you have something up under the dress so it's not sticking to the back.
And once you've gotten everything done on that end, your dress is complete. It's not a hard concept to do. It's just kind of tedious. Let me know if you guys try this and I'll see you tomorrow in day four's transformation. Bye.